We've covered a lot of material in a short period of time. It is basic stuff, but basic does not mean easy. It will become easy once we get the hang of it. To get the hang of it, we have to apply it over and over. To understand something, anything, is to be able to explain it to someone else. When our explaining sounds halting or hesitant to our own ears, we need to ask questions. Here's Dilbert's co-worker Wally explaining something to a new hire. The first thing you need to know is that we never use the DPX system when the MGB is down. The new hire asks, The what and the what? Wally says, Hold your questions to the end. My advice is, do not hold your questions till the end. We have a little ways more to go before we're done with omissions. Suppose the woman pictured here, let's call her Corvette Lady, runs over a child. It would be silly for her to ask the judge to instruct the jury that the prosecution bore the burden of showing that she had a d legal duty to act. Corvette Lady's failure to steer the car or hit the brakes is not treated as an omission, but as a voluntary action. We dip one last time into the restatement second of torts for an explicit statement of this obvious point. If a force is within the actor's control, his failure to control it is treated as though he were actively directing it, and not as a breach of a duty to take affirmative steps to prevent its continuance. Corvette Lady, of course, performed the voluntary act of taking her hands off the steering wheel, that action was reckless. There's no real need to call her failure to grab the wheel and act of actively directing the car. But now watch the video that's next in this playlist. <laughs>